Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, the first day of spring. It's a windy day, about 60 degrees. We just had another cow go into labor. And uh, we're kind of waiting on April, but she's not quite ready, but it's not her. It's Big Mama, which is kind of interesting. If you remember, it's two years ago. Uh, she went into labor on the first day of spring. And that's how we got Brooke, who just had her first calf two days ago. So, kind of interesting. She's having another first day of spring baby. I'm going to head over and check it out. I think it's moving along pretty pretty quickly here. There was a bunch of stuff. Oh. <gasps> Look at Oh. Yeah, that's eyes. Poked out. Looks blind in that eye. Mm. Well, what it? Huh, eyes all weird. What in the world? Uh -oh. Yeah, it looks blind in that eye. Is it pressure? Okay, as I was saying, there's something going on with that little bull calf's eye, big mama's calf. And uh, I have no idea what it is, but we got a hold of the vet. And he's going to come out and check it out. We just want to know. You know, I don't know if there's anything we can do, if it's going to be all right like that, mm -hmm. if that eyeball needs to come out, or or what. I'm just not sure. So we're going to back off, let Big Mama have mm -hmm. her way, and the vet's going to come check this eyeball out. You can see it's poking out pretty good, but mm -hmm. I don't know, hopefully it works out. Weird. All right, guys, the vet just left, and he came down here to check out this calf's eye, which is standing up over here. And it looks like he's looking for a snack, which is pretty cool, but uh, looks like uh, he, called, he, he uh, said maybe some form of glaucoma that developed early in the womb or uh, at some point. And as far as it poking out, it's just oversized. Well, if you can see with this glare, there we go. It's oversized, and he says that may go down as the fluid kind of goes away, or may not, but he can close his eye. He can blink. Uh, he can't see out of it, of course, but uh, we're just going to leave it alone for now. <clears throat> and you see, you know, he's going to have to get used to having one eye, but I guess that's all he's ever been used to. So it's going to be different for him, guys. And uh, he's a one-eye bull. And hopefully he'll get to keep the eyeball, but we're going to watch it for a few weeks here. And he says if it looks like it's going south, then he will come remove it. Or we'll take it in and have it removed. Um, he said not a big deal, but if it can, if it can just stay like that <clears throat> and then maybe lose some size and be somewhat normal sized, he will uh, just let it go. Looks like he's going to take a little break. Um, he's a little bit slower going, so we're going to give him a little bit more time to find that nip nipple and get some food. But... That's what's going on guys, um, got a one-eyed bull calf, and uh, <laughs> I felt a little silly because I guess I got uh, concerned, but having him come out here, but he's, he says it's better for him to know what's going on in case he needs to come out and actually remove it, so he's got an idea what's going on, and we're going to go from there, so that's the excitement for the day guys, looks like we have another one or two that could be going into labor anytime now, so who knows, this may be a two-part video, I might put it out like this, but we'll... We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go finish the chores and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.